To create an Azure Monitor Action Group, in the Azure console, we need to go to Monitor on the left-hand side, or go up to All Services at the top here and search for Monitor. Once we're in the Monitor Blade, if we go to Alerts here, we should see an option appear at the top to Manage Action Groups. So if we click on that, we'll see that I've got no action groups in my list here, so we'll go and add an action group. We need to give this a name and a short name and select a subscription and a resource group to put it into. Once we've done that, we can start creating our actions at the bottom here. So I'm going to call this one email to Frank and I'm going to select an action type. In this case, I'm going to select email, but we could select to trigger an Azure function, a logic app or a webhook, etc. So for this one, I'm going to select on email at the top here, but we could have it email to one of the resource manager roles, say owner or contributor or reader for the resource, or send an SMS notification, an Azure push notification or a voice call. But like I said, I'm going to click email at the top here and put in Frank's email address, and then scroll down to the bottom and click on OK. And then click on OK again to create that action group. And after a few seconds, we should see our action group appear in the list there. So if we go over to Frank's email, we'll see that we've now got an email here telling us that we've been added to our new action group. So if we go back to the Azure console, we're going to need to link an alert to our action group. So if we go back to our monitor alerts again and go to manage alert rules at the top here, I've got a pre-created rule here that will alert us when a VM is started, but I need to link that to an action group. So it's got everything in it there that it already needs apart from the action group. So I'm going to select the action group, select the one we've just created and click on add and then click on save at the top there. So now if we go over to our virtual machines and start up one of the virtual machines. This should trigger our alert. So here in Frank's email, and now we've got the alert email that was triggered because we started this virtual machine. Thanks for watching.